the city park in the Dallas area, and I'm out here with the AT Gold. Just want to show some of its features as far as its other ability for coin hunting. And this is a pretty trashy area. It's very well used. And if you look around here, there are literally bottle caps by the hundreds and the thousands, garbage everywhere. So that this is one area where this small 5x8 double D coil will really excel as far as being able to separate targets. Now, if I was to put this down in its all metal mode, it's going to report everything that it sees, and it's going to sound like this. Literally everywhere I swing the coil, even slowly, there's just targets galore here. So what I'm going to do is switch to discriminant mode 2, which is a coins mode. And I'm still going to hear a lot of signals, but this uh, has a preset iron discrimination of 35. So I'm going to try to listen for good signals in the middle of all these bottle caps I can see and all the other stuff that I can't see that I know is down in here. And I can also look at my numbers on the display as I'm going through it and see it bouncing all over the place on the numbers, indicating iron and steel and bottle caps of all sorts. The further I get away from the tree, it's a little cleaner, although I can still see bottle caps all over the place. You know, here's one as I go over it. It's chirpy and scratchy without even using the iron audio. But if I'm to put it on, very clear, very loud to me that that's a bottle cap or some kind of iron junk that I don't want to dig. Again, I can see plenty of trash here, but if somebody's been sitting here doing all this drinking over time, you know, they're bound to have lost some things in this area. Another bottle cap. jumping around quite a bit on the signal, but if I can find anything that just steadies down, then I'd want to dig that. That's a little more repeatable there. And so I just kind of move around it. And if I go over here, I've got the iron, obviously with iron audio. But that is a more repeatable sound. That even though I'm surrounded by iron, I can separate that enough, but I would definitely dig it. It is reading 82-ish, uh, 84, and it's jumping a little bit because it's also picking up some iron near it, but if I pinpoint, there yeah, I'm right on this target. It's two to four inches. So let's just see. Again, it sounds good. Uh, there's all kind of trash and stuff out here, but you never know. So there's that good sound right in there. Let me see what the pinpointer tells me. Oh. Uh, penny. One cent. It's like, oh, 1947. That's an older one. Clean it off a little bit right there. You can see the weed on it. And that separated again right here in the middle of all these bottle caps. You can literally see all around me. But with this 5x8 coil, it's got a tight enough hot area. I can separate the good and the bad pretty tight. So uh, definitely a keeper. Love finding the weedies. Maybe there's some old silver from that time frame out here too. This is what I've dug so far in maybe the first 30 minutes or so, uh, just to show you. Obviously, I've dug a little bit of trash occasionally. Got a few pieces of foil in here and uh, pull tabs that you know, read generally in the 50s, but in that same range, I got this interesting little piece. It looks like some kind of monkey's face or something like that. It's some kind of metal that looks like it might have wrapped around a, a pen or a pencil, some kind of kids uh, school toy or emblem so 
you know, kind of red in the same range as foil, which, you know, sometimes you'll find some little rings in that range, so I dig a little bit of that. Of course, a lot of pennies so far, uh, one wheat cent. Haven't got into any silver yet, but I'm hoping that'll come along. And this I thought might have been a ring, but it's some kind of fastener of some sort. Looks fairly old, but you can see where the two pieces come together and I'm not exactly sure what that would have fastened, but interesting piece nonetheless. So anyway, I'll pocket that for now and get back to digging. Hopefully find some silver money. jumping between 15 and 55 there's another bottle cap there 57 73 66 bouncing all in between those numbers there's a higher number there 81 82 but a lot of trash here Here irons, I'm going away from it with the iron audio. But the question is whether that's a good target right there in the middle of that iron. 82, 83. Maybe four inches depth. Oh, that's one I have to take a look at and see what it is. This whole ground is so dry. Oh, there we go. It wasn't too deep at all. It was penny, I'm searching in uh, discriminate mode two under some of these old trees here in the park. A little bit less trash over here, but there's still some. 50. There's just enough of a snap of iron there with that that I know that's probably going to be a pull tab or a bottle cap. <clears throat> I can obviously see some cans here. 48. Hoping to find some coins around these old oak trees, and there's even a few pecan trees out in the area. I 
Again, there's a lot of trash around here, but trying to find those good signals. There's 81, 82. He's getting some iron around it. But I'm curious enough about this. That we're going to dig this and see what we got here. Maybe something that's got some iron in it, but just curious. Check with the old pinpointer. Aha! Uh -huh. It was a dime. So it was reading 81, 82, and it definitely sounded like there was some iron in the area. So I'm going to put this in the bag and just do another sweep over this area with the coil. And there's our iron item there that's making that noise. 1750s. Let me take another look at this. Definitely some iron there that we left in the ground. But that showed you how a dime just separated out real nice against the iron that's surrounding it. So let's continue around this area. Maybe there's some more picnickers that have been here that have lost some coins. A lot of junk in this area. This one's hitting in the 70s range. And with the iron audio, I'm getting a 76 right there. It has a little bit of size to it. I'm going to dig it and just see what it is. It could be uh, some kind of an aluminum can with that kind of reading and a decent size to it determined by lifting up. Yes, definitely so. Just kind of what I thought it would be. It's a return to ring lift, uh, some kind of a aluminum can lid, just like it sounded in the 70s. And having a little bit of iron sound to it, a little bit of trash signal. All right, let's continue on. Now in areas like this with a lot of iron and a lot of junk, you want to slow the swing down and just really listen for the good sounds. Here it's a little bit cleaner, but I can see pop tops coming up ahead. Here's a pop top right here. You can hear that kind of poor sound that it gives off and with iron audio you can hear it coming and going strong iron sound here's a piece of foil here on the ground let's see where that reads it's kind of clicking and 40s and low 50s kind of in the range where I've got some discrimination set so it's taking out a lot of that foil and making it sound bad as I would hope that it would make it sound There's a big piece of rolled up aluminum right there, bouncing between the 70s and low 90s. Now again, a coin is going to stay pretty consistent unless it's really got a piece of junk right beside it or right on it. Otherwise, it's going to give you a pretty repeatable number, pretty consistent number, maybe one or two clicks variance, but not that 20 to 30 degree range of jumping back and forth. We can find one here in a minute. We'll demonstrate how that would sound. Definitely has some iron sound to that. And this is kind of the nemesis of many detectors. Uh, this is where a double D coil shines is getting in all these bottle tops like this. And helping you try to find something good in the midst of all this trash. It's too bad that all this is out here that people can't pick up after themselves. Bottle caps. And 
Again, I can see the bottle caps and I can hear them as we go through them. Just waiting for that good signal to come through the midst of this junk. See some twisted wire, rolled up aluminum foil from cookouts, all kind of beer caps. All right, now there's something that's hitting it. 82 to 84. And there's a little bit of iron sound in that area too. So the question is, is that a good coin target next to some iron? That's definitely one I will take a look and see what we've got. Soil just falls apart as you dig in it. Let's see what we got. Let's see if I can locate anything with the pinpointer. Right here in this area. Let's see what we got. Aha! It was a penny. It was 81, 82. Uh, looks like a 1990 something penny, perhaps. Not old, but uh, again, that was a good clean sound. And if I back up and sweep over this area, let's see if we don't hear any more iron in the vicinity still. Definitely a big iron right there, but you could hear how that coin that penny came through even in the midst of all that iron all that trash that you can hear there so that's where this AT Gold's uh, 5x8 double D coil just really excels picking out the good from the bad let's move on up to this tree and see if maybe somebody lost some more coins in this area Forties. I'm going to work back toward this old tree. This thing's been here for a long time, many, many years. There's a 73. Right about there. So, shovel out and dig a little plug. See what we can find here, folks. Aha! Right there, there's a coin. Another penny. This is just the day for pennies. All right. But that sound came through pretty clean, pretty strong. And the most important thing is the number stayed very consistent. 73, 74, it was not jumping wildly. 77, 78, oftentimes turns out to be some kind of can. 48, 49, with the hint of iron when it's checked. It's probably gonna prove to be some kind of pop top. Slow down and move around this old tree and see if we can find any more coins that have been lost. I'm going to work my way down this hillside and toward these other two big trees, fairly close to the roadway there. Let's see if we can get upon some other good target. Aha! There's another little thing to watch for. There's this little trail right up ahead. Well, let me stop and see what this is first. We've got an 80, very consistent, not jumping whatsoever. So my target ID is locked in solid at an 80 on this one. Let's see if maybe that's a dime or something. If we could be so lucky. What have we got here? Let's see. Looks 
come right on it. So let's get the pin pointer. Maybe a little bit deeper. Let me see here. Stand back up and check it. Right down here, about four inches deep it shows. Pull out a bigger chunk of this area. Excavate a little more soil. Take another look, see. Aha. Uh -huh. Right there in that area. Let's see if I can get it in that scoop. Ah, I think I just saw it. Yep. Uh, what do we got? Oh, we got a token. Interesting. I can't make out what's on it, but. It's don't know exactly what that is, but it's been punched through. It's an interesting token, red 80, very consistent. So that's interesting little piece there.